We can create height lines like these in just a few steps. When we need to show this in a plan like view, say like a section where we're cutting through the site, essentially all we need to do is duplicate the line of the existing ground and raise it up nine meters. Now there's a special trick that someone showed me. If we've got our existing site mesh already drawn up, I've got it hidden here at the moment, so I'm gonna turn this back on. If we've got the site mesh here, what we can do is we can go copy, control C, then go control V to paste this site mesh. But what's gonna happen is if we go to original location and go paste, it doesn't look like much has happened, but, but if we now zoom out, and we drag this across a distance that we can easily remember, say 40,000 in this example, and go enter. We'll click outside of the marquee. And when we click back into the element inside of here, we can see that it's actually taken the site mesh and essentially exploded it into the view, but it hasn't affected the original site mesh. So what we can do here is we can just select the top line of this topography that's been exploded. We'll select all of those lines. And now we can drag that back in, that number that we just mentioned before, making sure we've got the angle set to zero. Go 40,000. Let's group those together just in case. And now that we zoomed in, we'd essentially go Control D to drag and lift that one up 9,000 and hit enter. From here, we typically select the line and then we turn it into a dashed line like this and label it accordingly. Now, typically when we're doing this on elevations, because the ground height could be a lot different in the position where the elevation marker is set, what we typically do just for the sake of the height line is that we'll drag the elevation marker so it's touching the edge of the building like this. So when we open this up, open view, we'll see that it's currently cutting through the eave there at the moment. But what this means is that we can then copy the site mesh, we can paste it back in in its original location. We'll drag it out, that 40,000. We'll go ahead and ungroup and we'll grab that line, drag it back in, and then we'll drag it up that nine meters and go enter. Now, one thing to watch out for is that that line that we exploded is going to be set to whatever layer that you had your topography on. And if that's typically hidden on your elevation, which for most sets we do typically hide it on the elevations, we need to take that line and then put it onto a layer that is showing on our elevations. Something say like text. So when we change the view and then go back to that view, that line will remain. Now we also need to remember to go back to the floor plan, then take that elevation marker and shift it back to where it was before. So when we go back to that elevation, we're no longer cutting through that eave. This file, along with every single tutorial file, is now available over on the Patreon. If you'd like to learn more about how to create a section, I've got a dedicated video just over here.